I'll do it. You killed your skin and gutted in your life anyway. Mine's sharper. Hey, what's up guys? So you probably already know by the thumbnail, I finally bought a real Blizzy. I've always had my Blood Diamond replica do the honors of unboxing the previous packages. So I thought it'd be fun to have the Blizzy replica unbox the actual Blizzy. And by the time this video goes up guys, this knife might be up for grabs on eBay. I am auctioning this thing off. Um, first of all, I never thought I would get this knife because of how expensive they are. Um, these knives go from $500 to over $1,000 depending on the steel. And I found one for cheap on eBay, less than $500. Bucks, and I figured, you know what? It's cheap. And I could also always sell the replica and get some of my money back. So I figured I'd buy it and here it is. And yeah, guys, this knife does not come with the sheath. It is used. So I will be keeping the sheath that this one had. So I'm going to be auctioning this off without a sheath. And yeah, I am curious to see... What the differences will be between the real Buzzy and this one. Um, I think that the handle on this one is going to be smaller than the actual Buzzy handle. And I feel like the Buzzy is probably going to go up to here on the handle. So I feel like the blade on this one might be a bit longer too. But for sure I think this is going to be lighter and thinner. But yeah let's see if I'm right and let's open this thing up. Alright guys here goes nothing. I really never thought I would buy this. But this was a good opportunity. Okay, let's see what the hype is all about. For freaking $500 to $1,000, I would expect this to cut itself. But we're going to see what the hype is about. Wow, look at that. Woo! I don't want to lift it up yet, but let's compare these. Let's see. All right, the size isn't too far off. This one is a bit shorter. Let's see. Yeah, see the handle is bigger for sure. Yeah, the buzzy is a bit taller. That's crazy. All right, now let's lift it up. Yeah, this thing is thick. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's definitely thicker from the blade as well. The tip is pretty thin. Which was what I was hoping for. Alright, so now we have them here side by side. And as you can see, the buzzy is a bit thicker than I expected. Um, and yeah, this is a bit thinner, of course. But yeah, damn. This thing, guys, is way bigger and thicker than I expected. But the weight of it is really kind of light still. Um, it's not that much heavier than this one, I'm not going to lie. They're kind of the same. This one's a little bit heavier. And I think this is to knock off some of the weight. I could be wrong. But I don't know much about Buzzy, guys. Um, all I know is that this Buzzy is the Infi version. And I'm assuming this is probably one of the older versions, too. Because right now they have the Liper Gaged or whatever they're called. And I think they're thinner and lighter. But, um, yeah, I'm assuming this is one of the older versions because I got it for pretty cheap. But, yeah, guys, does it look like it's worth $500 to $1,000? I mean, honestly, no. But the performance is what speaks. And yeah, let's take this thing outside. All right, guys, so the buzzy does fit in pretty good, but this does not reach, sadly, so I'm going to have to modify this a little bit. I am planning on hopefully getting another sheath in the future, but um, yeah, guys, here it is. The main thing I always used my old buzzy for is whenever you got bolts stuck in trees, um, what I liked about the old one is that it was really thin and it was easy to pry the tree open and get your bolts out. I think this one might be able to do the job. I was too worried that it'd be too thick, but I think it should be good. The tip really thins out right there, which is what I need. And yeah, guys, heck yeah, I actually have freaking Daryl's knife. It's crazy. All right, guys, now we're going to see if I could cut through that block right there. No, I'm kidding. But um, damn, guys, I'm not going to lie. I was a bit more excited when I got the Blood Diamond than I was when I got this. But the Blood Diamond did leave me really disappointed. And this thing is not going to disappoint me. 
This thing is meant to cut. This thing is meant to be a knife. And the blood diamond was honestly just meant to be a prop. And I didn't know that until I got it. But yeah, guys, I don't know what to test this thing on. Um, I'm not a big knife guy. I'm just going to have this for any emergencies. And yeah, this is going to be my go-to knife now. Not sure what else to say about it. I'm just going to be cutting stuff now. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, I'll post some pictures on Instagram. I'll do a little photo shoot with it. And see you guys later.